hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video so i just decided to film this like two seconds ago because my camera was sitting here but today i got my brand new thank you cards and business cards and i also just announced my new logo on my instagram and tiktok which is very very exciting so i wanted to show you guys all of the new things and also just reminisce on what my stuff used to look like like two months ago um it's all about just consistent changing you know so i wanted to show you guys all of the stuff that i had just ordered from visiprint and then also later i'm gonna package some orders i know a few of you wanted me to make a video showing how i package my orders i'm also saying like where i get my stuff from so we'll do that today too um i actually had filmed a video like at the very beginning when I started of how I packaged my stuff, but it's so different now that if I were to post that today, it would be really weird because that's not how my stuff looks anymore. So I scratched that video and we're just going to do this one today. So I will show you guys everything and I hope you guys like it. If you guys have any questions on where I get all of my stuff, um, I'll try and link some things in the description, but if you guys have any questions, leave those comments down below for me. So on to the video okay so today I got my package from Vistaprint, which is so, so, so exciting. I ordered my previous thank you cards from Vistaprint. They are just 10 out of 10 recommend. The quality is just incredible. So I got this stack and I also have this stack and then I have these two containers. So I'll show you guys what my new business cards look like first. Um, I This is my first time having business cards. I didn't include them like before because I didn't know how I wanted them to look, but I finally designed these all myself. I designed all of them in Procreate. I made my logo myself. I'm very proud of it. So I got these. I got the um, 2.5 inch business cards from Vistaprint. Oh, there we go. Okay, so these are the business cards and the front of it is glossy. I don't know if you guys can tell with the light, um, but this is my logo, by the way. So this is the front of the card. And then when you turn it around, this is the back. And so it says my name at the top, that I'm the owner of Poppy Print Collective and also all of my information for my business Instagram, my business email, and then of course my YouTube channel, TikTok, and Etsy. I'm hoping to have my own website in a few months, so I will definitely be including that in here when that happens. Um, but these are my business cards and I'm so excited about them. The quality is like 10 out of 10. Like if you guys order, you'll be able to feel these yourself but it's so good like the quality is like very good um compared to like if you were to print it yourself i guess and then for my thank you cards so i got this idea from like a few other small business owners um, a lot of people have been doing this recently but a lot of people have been doing their thank you cards and doing like something fun on the other side so instead of people just throwing away your thank you card you can hang it up and like put it somewhere nice and so i decided to do like a cute little quote and have it as like a mini five by seven print so these are the five by seven postcards that you can get through vista print so i have these i wish i had my old thank you cards so i could show you guys like in person but i literally just used the last one the other day when i was packaging but it is this and it says thank you and then there's a little message for me i'm planning on writing people's names right here and then putting some hurts in there to make it personalized and then just my name and then on the back which is the little mini print moment 
we have this and so it just says enjoy every moment which i hand lettered and then it has these little cute elements and i'm really happy with how these turned out um and again the quality came out really good on these too so this is how that side looks and then you just flip it and then the thank you oh so let's just dive in and i'll show you guys what my first sticker order looked like so my friend kayla um she was the first person who ordered stickers for me and back then i literally just was cutting out card stock myself and like did a stamp and called it a day also my stickers were not good quality so like not cute but this is what my first sticker order looked like um as you can see it was just like cardstock that was cut out and then the stickers so that was like the first like um phase of my packaging and then after that i was like oh see this is a better um a better thing so this is my other friend tessa she owns her own small business as well she uploaded this okay yeah so this is what it used to look like so i had that thank you card with the cardstock with the stickers and then i hand did a handwritten note for everyone and i did the handwritten note for a while honestly but that was what phase one was a few weeks later i ran out of that normal pink cardstock and i was very sick of doing the stamp so then i was doing like cardstock that looked like that like whoops just random pattern a random pattern cardstock which is not cute and it does not it does not match the theme so that was not cute and i did that for a while because i just got a random cardstock like package thing and it was all different patterns and then again i was still doing the handwritten cards like see like this one it's like a random marble cardstock if you guys can see that but um then after that this was like six weeks later maybe like a month and a half or two months in that was when i officially got my legitimate thank you cards and i ordered those ones through vistaprint as well so this is what those ones looked like okay yeah so i had like the big thank you at the top and then i had like stars where it says like leave a review and then like connect with us but i wanted to redesign them because i felt like it just needed a makeover and then also when i got these new thank you cards that was when i don't know if you guys follow me on tiktok but that was when i got the bag toppers so i invested in these avery printable bag toppers and then i printed stuff on the top and then threw my stickers in so this is what those looked like okay yeah that's what that looked like so you could see like the little black dotted pattern that was an adhesive printable bag topper that i had with a cellophane bag and that was cute but the problem was was that the bags that the bag toppers came with were way too big like massive so i had to cut all of them in half and then i felt like i was wasting a lot of plastic and i didn't want to do that and then i missed having like a proper like backer card because with the bag toppers there was like risk of bending and all of that but i actually did the bag toppers for a really long time and i think that was like the longest <laughs> Oh my god, that was the longest um, branding that I had with the bag toppers. This is a better photo that someone reposted in their stories. But yeah, that orangey peachy thank you card with the bag topper. And then also, I was like trying to experiment with more like orangey tones, but I figured that I like pink a lot more. So I've been going back to pink, especially a lot on my Instagram feed. If you guys follow me there, um, you guys can see that it's like mostly pink and orangey stuff. Um, but then after the bag toppers, that was when I went back to like proper backer cards, but I printed them myself and so I had it be more cohesive. 
so it was like that and also I didn't have to cut any plastic bags it like filled the entire thing like perfectly and it was like a lot cuter um, in my opinion so I have like right now I have like the same backer cards with like the black dots around but it's just a different font at the top which I think is very fun um, but yeah it was like that like literally a week ago with that card in the back with the plastic cellophane um which i really like which is why i'm still using it um but it's just a different font and if you guys check out my instagram you'll see what it looks like um but yeah that is a little journey of how my packaging used to be um but i'm very excited about how these turned out um and so that is fun and also if you guys are watching this when i upload this month heads up my shop is closing for vacation next week on the on my last order they're gonna be the 18th so if you want these cute new little things this year make sure you guys order before i close for vacation but my shop will be opened up again january 4th so if you guys are watching after the fact just head over to the etsy shop but yeah i'm very excited too 2021 is going to be a lot of new items um a lot of new things so i'm excited to vlog all of the new small business stuff that will be happening in this upcoming year so yeah I feel like I've been talking for a lot now, so I'm going to show you guys some packaging stuff now. I actually have these um, already done. I already have like the stickers in here, but I was waiting till I get my, I got my thank you cards today because our mail lady comes later in the day, so I'm going to drop these off in like an hour. But yeah, I already did these. So this is what my packaging looks like right now. And I'm very, very, very happy about these. So I use the craft envelopes from Amazon. And then I use these stamps to sort of personalize the envelopes. So I use this butterfly sticker. And then I got these two, I mean not sticker, this butterfly stamp. And then I have these stamps. And they're all from Joann's, um, I believe. Or the butterfly one might be from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I don't really know. And then I hand letter everyone's name at the top. And I just like like how that looks even though it takes extra time. But it's just so cute. Like look at that. Look at how, look at how cute that is. Right? I like it. So I actually already have these ready to go. And I basically just have to put the thank you cards inside now and then i'm just gonna put washi tape and then they'll be ready if i have orders to package <laughs> then i'll go into more detail i guess if you guys want to see that but yeah that is what's happening few hours later or like nine hours later it's now nine o'clock but I usually do my packaging orders at night um, because usually people will order throughout the day and then I just like doing it at night and then also I have usually a lot of stuff to do during the day so I usually package things at night so like I said earlier I'm just gonna show you guys just one um 
order that I'm going to package and I'm going to make a separate video showing you how I package my stickers, um, prints, and rainbows. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I package just this. Um, just because I have not even showed rainbows on my YouTube channel, but I sell these on my Etsy. This is for my friend Courtney. Um, she ordered this, so I just made this. Um, and I hand sew all of them, and they come as either an ornament or like a car hanging, um, and you could like tie it up in your car um, or as a keychain, and it comes with the um, cute little keychain ring. So I have these and they come in a bunch of cute colors. I'm planning on adding like one or two more colors before my my shop goes on vacation. So I might make that tonight honestly and add it to my current listing, but we'll see. But anyways, my friend Courtney ordered this, so I'm going to show you guys how I package it. Um, and yeah, if you guys want to shop rainbows, they are available at my Etsy shop, link in bio. And of course, as always, you guys can use YouTube 10 to take 10% off of your order. So basically what I do um, is first thing is I usually will go to, I was going to show you guys the orders, but I just realized that it shows people's first and last names and where they live. So I'm not going to do that. But I go to my Etsy and I'll go to orders and shipping and it will be all of the new orders. So all I do is I go through those, see which ones um, need to be fulfilled. And I usually try for stickers, I try and package them the night of or the day after and have them shipped out in the mailbox the following day or yeah, my um time for stickers is one to three business days for processing and then my prints are also one to three days because it doesn't take me too long to package those because usually all of them are already made and then for commissions those are the only ones that is one to two weeks because i usually get a lot of those at the same time and then rainbows i have it as five to seven days because I make all of these made to order. Um, if I, in the future, I'm probably going to try and stock up on these. And so I won't have to waste a lot of time making them. Um, and I'll just have them ready to go, but that's basically how I do it. And so I'll just, I also use the shipping labels on Etsy. I will do a more detailed thing about that. Um, in, in, another video but I will do that in a specific packaging video this is sort of like an announcement of thank you cards business cards new logo and then a little packaging on the side but I want to do a video dedicated to just packaging so I just take my shipping labels I print them out and then I will get the stuff so I will show you guys I also just um like redid my whole workspace area and I'm waiting on a chair that I ordered on Amazon to come in to show Instagram and TikTok and all of that um but like behind me is like a whole new wall basically and a lot of fun stuff so I'm waiting for a chair to come in because it's a really cute pink chair and it like sort of ties my little office space all together so I'm waiting for that but just gonna give you guys a little sneak peek hopefully my chair comes in by the time I upload this so people will know what it looks like. Tiny sneak peek. I do want to do another vlog of a workspace tour. So this is a tiny sneak peek. I got this um, organizer from Ikea and this is where I put a lot of my packaging supplies. So in this top uh, container is the envelopes I use for stickers and my thank you cards. And in this second one are the backer cards I use with rainbow uh, fact cards and these cellophane bags and then this is um, supplies for rainbows and then these are more supplies to make rainbows and then on the very bottom is um, logo sticker sheet for packaging and these are the papers I use to print out my prints so those are the basic supplies that I use um, 
I am also, when I do my workspace tour, I'm also going to go into more detail of all of the things I use. Or if you guys want me to just do a separate video on supplies, um, let me know. I get a lot of questions and I like to share where I get things just because I feel like I got all of my information from other people sharing things. So I feel like it would be helpful um, to others if I help you guys out. So I am going to package this now and I'm just going to explain while I do it. Um, and it will be really fun. But this is for my friend Courtney. I hope she loves it. This is my limited edition um, red and white holiday ornament. And it is super cute. I love it. This is going to be gone after the holidays. Um, mostly because I want to stick with like pink rainbows and white rainbows and orange rainbows. More of like my color. I just did this for the holidays and people liked it. So I'm glad people liked it. So basically all I'm going to do is I take one of these poly mailer bags that I just show you, showed you guys and I get these from Amazon. These I believe are nine by, I don't really know, but it's like the smallest poly mailer bag that you can get. Um, I would do boxes, but boxes cost more to ship and I am trying to save as much as I can. So I just have this. I have my rainbow and so what I use to package the rainbows I have these cute little baggies and so I have them stamped um, and it says uniquely handmade limited edition and then I also have some butterflies on there and so I just open it up and I will just put the rainbow inside and I make sure that everything is going the correct way and nothing is going to get messed up. And I put that in there like that so it's all cutesy and you can see it through. And then I also um, made these cards for the rainbows. So they're these little square cards and it just says um, if it wants to focus. Okay, there. So it's basically just rainbow care, um, reminding people that they're all handmade because I'm worried that there would be like a Karen or something that would purchase <laughs> and then they would not know that it's handmade or something. I don't know. Um, and then it also just says that which, if you got a keychain or an ornament, um, recommending what you can do with the string. I do make the string longer for the ornaments because. You could either have it as an ornament or a car hanging. And then I also have on the bottom, if they want to tag me in a photo, um, they can do so um, on our Instagram. So I put this to inside this. And then I just fold it over and I got these really cute thank you cards. I mean, thank you stickers from Target. Um, and I like these just because I don't have to use my own ink for thank you stickers. And they're really cute and go with my aesthetic. So I just put that there and then that is the rainbow. And then for the actual what goes inside. So now I have my new thank you cards, which is really thrilling. I actually waited to package this stuff for my new, new um, thank you cards. So I will put this in there and I want to write her name. Okay, I use my, this is a black, like felt tip brush marker um, and I really like it because it's easier to like hand letter names I guess 
Okay, so just did it. And so I like to write their name and then I wrote her a little note down there um, cause she's one of my best friends. So I have this and then I also am now going to grab one of my new business cards. So she could put this somewhere. And so I take this now and this, the size of it like fits perfectly if you guys can't see. Um, but yeah, it would be like this. So it fits perfectly and I like that marker too because it dries really fast and it's really good. Um, and so I put the thank you card inside and then I put my rainbow inside and then the business card. And so that is all that goes inside. And then I love these two because it's just like that. You take that off and then you fold it over. Make sure that everything lines up properly. And it looks like this close. And yesterday I actually already went ahead and printed her shipping label out. Um, let me cover our addresses real quick. Um, but I already printed it out yesterday. And so this is what this packa packaging label looks like um, because this is considered a thick envelope or a package um, compared to the little envelopes that I use for stickers since it is a little thick with two C's. So I just put this on to the package. And so then it looks like this. Um, so I just have it on the front like that. And I really like it because I have the thank you card. So it stays like straight like this. Whoops, it stays straight. And then the very last thing that I do for my rainbow orders is I take one of my logo stickers. Um, and these are ones that I print myself. And then I just put my new logo sticker on the back like that. And then it's ready to ship and ready to go for the mail person. So yeah. Um, so that is how I packaged that. Um, but yeah, like I said before, I just wanted this video to just be like um, thank you cards and business cards and just a little bit of packaging. So that is it for today's video. It was very random. I didn't even think I was going to film today, which is why I don't have any makeup on, but sort of embracing that today. Um, so I hope you guys liked this video. I am trying to make more small business YouTube videos. I am very active on TikTok and Instagram, but I'm trying to bring that to this channel for sure. Um, I am like running out of my other ideas, like lifestyle stuff. So I feel like showing you guys more small business things is something that you guys really want to see. So I am trying to do that. And a lot of people have been DMing me things that they want to see, video ideas. So I am trying to film all of those before I head home in like 10 days or something. So I hope you guys liked this video. Um, coming soon is going to be more packaging videos um i want to show you guys like exactly what i do for stickers prints and rainbows and then also once this space is complete i'm going to try and put up some prints um on this like blank space that i have over there and just make it more i don't know fun um i'll be doing a workspace tour soon as well which is very fun and just more things and this upcoming year there's going to be a lot more products a lot more things that are not stickers like i ordered some things the other day uh, and i'm very excited about it a uh, little hint is that it may or may not be tote bags so 
that's exciting. I'm very excited about tote bags. I love tote bags. So that is the update. So I hope you guys liked today's video. And if you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below for me what you guys want to see next, specifically small business related, um, anything like that. And then also, um, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at Emily Mind. And then don't forget to follow my business Instagram at Poppy Print Collective. And then my TikTok, which is at Poppy Print Collective. And then the last but not least, don't forget to to subscribe to my youtube channel for more small business related content and more fun vlogs so i will see you guys next time peace out